Welcome back. Many of us have heard of dance mobs and flash mobs, but there's a new trend. They're called cash mobs, and they're making their way across Kansas City. Burton Kelso and Kelly Ziegler are coordinating the cash mob trend here in the Metro. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you for having us. Now, how did the cash mob uh, trend, how did that start? Cash mob actually started in <laughs> Buffalo, New York. Uh, an attorney went and mobbed a, a friend business and uh, wanted to get that business more fun, more exposure, more money. So uh, he got a group of his friends to go out and uh, support that local business. But so, it really caught its legs in uh, Cleveland, Ohio. So it's really all about supporting those small businesses that we know we need to just ascend on and give them our money, right? right. That's right, like a swarm of locusts. <laughs> okay, so um, what are some of the businesses in the area that you've mobbed so far, and where are you headed next? Our first mob was done in Westwood Hills, Kansas. Uh, we mobbed a group of businesses there. Uh, but today we're going to mob Garza's Goodies at 85th mm -hmm. and Warnell. Uh, they sell chocolate and goodies and all that good stuff. So it's a great way to support local businesses, and you get to eat chocolates and candy. Absolutely. So tonight, where can they go? Or uh, they can go to Garza's Goodies. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, I forget the address, Kelly. What is it? I know it's 85th and Warnell. I mean, I mm -hmm. know that's the it's idea. It's right there around the corner. Yeah, it's about a half it. a block. Um, and you can see all the delicious sweets they're cooking up there. It's, it's a place you need to go. There's yes. the address. Finally. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight at 5:30, Garza's Goodies is at 322 West 85th Street in KC Mo. Uh, and then where are you headed after the mob? We're going to Walsh's Corner ca uh, Corner Cocktails, which is a local bar and grill. Uh, usually what a cash mob will do is we'll mob the mom and pop business mm -hmm. and then we like to have what's called an after mob celebration. So we'll go to a, a bar and grill and celebrate and have uh, celebratory mob, mob tails and mob teenies. Oh fantastic. What are the rules for a cash mob? A cash mob is basically you have to have items that are less than $20 each. Mm -hmm. You have to carry items that are both for men and women and they have to be locally owned. They can't be a franchise mm -hmm. that is lo locally owned but it has to be a locally owned mom and pop shop. So those are the businesses that qualify to be a cash mob Correct. is locally owned. Are there any certain businesses like ones that are struggling maybe or just, just anyone? Well, I was gonna say one of the things that we try to look for businesses that have a, uh, one a solitary location because those businesses normally don't have an advertising budget mm -hmm. uh, like your mom and pops that may have uh, three or more locations. <laughs> so we, we try to keep it to a business with one location. And another thing we avoid is businesses that aren't in like large shopping malls or shopping areas because they have the uh, benefit of being part of that ad budget for that large shopping mall or area. Okay, for those business owners at home that are watching the show, <laughs> how can they participate in Cash Mob? How can they be the ones that are uh, mobbed? Show up with cash. <laughs> show up with uh, Yeah, show up with money. Just, uh, uh, you mean as far as the business no, that the gets business the mob? owners, yeah, they get the mobs. Yeah, <laughs> we're not, saying, you're not buying them off. No, uh, yeah, no, yeah, no, we no. are. Yeah, we're all about supporting yeah, local ex businesses. Exactly. Right. No, how are those businesses selected? They can visit our Facebook page, which is uh, Kansas City Metro Area Cash Mob. Uh, just search it on Facebook and like the page. From there, we normally start taking suggestions for mom and pops that people know and love. And from those groups of suggestions, we'll uh, take the top three and then we'll allow people to vote on those businesses. And the business that gets the most votes wins up with, ends up with the cash mob. Well, I love it. Well, good luck to you. I hope it's a huge cash mob tonight at Garza's. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Thanks Thank for being you. on the show.